now here we have an expression containing two terms a plus b and we need to cube it now this can be written as a plus b into a plus b whole square because this is a cube so it can be written as a plus b into a plus b whole square we have learnt an identity for a plus b whole square what was that a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square we have already learned this identity so let us apply this identity here so this is what we have now use the distributive property and distribute this over this expression so we distribute a plus b over this expression so we can write it as a times a square plus 2ab plus b square plus b times a square plus 2ab plus b square so this is what we have now a is multiplied with this entire expression so we can use the distributive property again and distribute a over each term of the expression so we write a into a square gives a cube a into 2ab will give 2 a square b a into 2 into a into b so we have a 2 here a into a gives a square and b a into b square is ab square plus b into a square gives b a square b into 2 ab so this gives us 2 a b into b gives b square b into b square gives b cube so this is the expanded form of this step so this is what we have now let us write a cube we have taken this a cube 2a square b and we have a b a square now b a square is the same as a square b because multiplication is commutative so b into a square is the same as a square into b so 2a square b plus a square b gives us 3a square b this is what we have a b square plus 2a b square gives us 3ab square and we have a b cube term so this is the b cube term so we get a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube now this is an important identity there is another form of this identity we write it as a cube we take b cube plus b cube now we take these two terms and now in these two terms we have a 3 in both the terms we have a in both the terms and we have b in both the terms so we write it as 3ab now here this is 3ab into a 3a square b is 3ab into a so we can write 3ab into a 3ab square is 3ab into what it is 3ab into b so we can write it as a plus b if we expand it you can check we'll get the same thing 3ab into a is 3a square b plus 3ab into b is 3ab square so this is another way of writing this now both these forms are very important and this is a special identity so whenever we need to find the cube 
of an expression containing two terms, we can directly apply this identity and it is very useful. So you, we need to memorize this identity. We can apply any form of the identity depending on case to case as it is applicable. Now we need to find the cube of this expression containing two terms using this identity a plus b whole cube. So we see we have a cube here, we have a cube here. So now we need to compare 2x plus 3y to a plus b. Let us take 2x as a and 3y as b. Now we have a plus b whole cube. So we can expand it using this. So let us do that. First we have a cube. So a cube is equal to 2x whole cube. Remember this entire term 2x is taken as a. So we need to take the cube of this entire term. So we write 2x whole cube. Next we have 3a square b. So we write it as 3a square. a is 2x. So 2x whole square b is 3y. So the entire 3y term is equal to b. So this is 3a square b. Again we have 3ab square. So plus 3a is 2x. So 2x and b square is 3y whole square. So this is 3y whole square plus b cube. Now plus 3y whole cube. So this is plus 3y whole cube. So this is what we get. So we have expanded this using this identity. Now we need to simplify each term. 2x whole cube is 2 cube into x cube. 2 cube is equal to 8. So we get 8 x cube plus 3 into 2 x whole square into 3 y. So 3 into 2 square, 2 square is 4, 3 into 4 is 12, 12 into 3 is 36, x square into y, 36 x square y, plus 3 into 2 x into 3 y whole square, 3 into 2 is 6, 6 into 3 square, that is 6 into 9, 6 into 9 is 54, and x into y square. So we have 54 x y square plus 3 cube into y cube. 3 cube is 27 and we have y cube. So this is what we get 8 x cube plus 36 x square y plus 54 x y square plus 27 y cube. And this is the cube of this expression. And we have calculated this cube in just two simple steps using this identity. So we see how this identity is useful in calculating the cubes of expressions in one or two simple steps. Now we need to find the cube of 99. One way is by multiplying 99 into 99. And then multiplying the answer by 99 again. But now since we have learned this identity. So let us use this identity to simplify our calculations. How do we do that? We have a cube here and a cube here. So we will be able to use this identity if we can express 99 as a plus b. That is if we can express 99 as the sum of two numbers. How can we do that? Well, 99 can be written as 90 plus 9. And now we can compare 90 to A and 9 to B 
and apply this identity to find the cube of 99. Now, can you think of a simpler method to calculate the cube of 99 using this very identity? Recall that this is an identity. So it is true for all values of a and b. All values of a and b means it is true for negative values of a and b as well. So what if I write 99 as 100 plus negative 1? 100 plus negative 1 also gives me 99. So I can write this 99 as 100 plus negative 1. Now I can compare 100 to A and negative 1 to B. Why am I doing it? I am doing it because if we use 90 and 9, we will have to multiply with 90, we will have to multiply with 9, find the cube of 90, find the square of 90 which is somewhat difficult. Instead, if we use 100 and negative 1, then multiplying with 100 and negative 1 is quite simple. So let us represent 99 cube as 100 plus negative 1 whole cube. So we have 100 plus negative 1 whole cube. Now compare 100 to A and negative 1 to B. So negative 1 is B. Now let us use this identity. A cube is 100 cube. 3 A square B is 3. A is 100. And B is negative 1. 3 AB square. So 3 into 100 into negative 1 whole square. And B cube. It is negative 1 whole cube. So this is what we have. And now let us calculate the values. 100 cube is 1 followed by 6 zeros. We have a negative 1 here. So we get minus 3 into 100 square which is 3 followed by 4 zeros. 3 into 100 into negative 1 square. So we have plus 3 into 100 is 300 and negative 1 cube is minus 1. Now let us calculate these. So we have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros minus 3 followed by 4 zeros. So this is what we have. Now we have 300 minus 1 which is 299. So we need to add 299 to this. So we get 970299. And this is the cube of 99. Now you can check by normal multiplication that you get the same answer. And you can also check how much more time do you spend in doing it. So this is a very special and very useful identity because it helps us calculate cubes in a simpler and a faster manner. So we had used a negative value in place of B. So what if we substitute a negative B in place of this B here? We get A plus negative B whole cube is equal to a cube plus 3 a square into negative b plus 3 a into negative b square plus negative b whole cube. So everywhere in place of plus b, I have replaced a negative b. So a plus negative b 3a into negative, 3a square into negative b, 3 into negative b whole square, negative b cube. So this is what you have.
Now, let us simplify it. A plus into negative B gives us minus B. So, A minus B whole cube is equal to A cube minus 3A square B. Negative B whole square gives us B square plus 3AB square and negative B whole cube is negative B cube. So this is what we have. So now if we have A minus B whole cube in place of A plus B whole cube, we can use this identity. A minus B whole cube is equal to A cube minus 3A square B plus 3AB square minus B cube. Now what if we do the same in the other form of this identity? Again, replace a negative B in place of B. A cube plus negative B whole cube plus 3 into A into negative B. A plus negative B. So this is what we have. Now simplify it. A plus negative B is A minus B. A minus B cube. A cube. Negative B whole cube is what? It is negative B cube. Now 3 into A into minus B gives us minus 3AB. A plus negative B gives us A minus B. So this is what we have. So now if we have to calculate the cube of A minus B, we can use any of these forms as applicable. And you can also verify it by expanding A minus B whole cube. You'll get these two forms. Now observe something. We have A plus B whole cube here and A minus B whole cube here. So the terms are the same. We have A cube, we have 3A square B, we have 3AB square and we have B cube. Oh, the only difference is the difference in signs. So the only difference is with respect to the signs. Even in this form, we have an A cube term, a B cube term, 3AB into A into B. So the only difference here also is with respect to the signs. So we simply need to remember which sign should be placed where. But this is not very difficult. It is quite simple. How? When we have A plus B whole cube, we have a plus sign everywhere. So till plus, there is no issue because when you have A plus B whole cube, you only have plus sign. There is no confusion about the signs. The problem comes when you have A minus B whole cube. So how do you remember where will you have the plus sign and where will you have the minus sign? So the trick is that place the negative sign in front of odd powers of B and place the positive sign in front of even powers of B. So see, we have an AQ, B to the power 1. So this is an odd power of B. We have a negative sign here. 3AB squared. This is an even power of B. We have a positive sign here. B cube. This is an odd power of B. We have a negative sign here. For this form, we have B cube. 3 is an odd power. So we place a negative sign. 3 into A into B. This is an odd power. Negative sign. Odd power of B, negative sign. So this is how you can remember where to place the negative signs quite easily. So all these four forms are very important and very useful and we need to remember it in order to find the cubes of expressions having two terms.